Alrighty. Good morning, everyone. Today, we are selling our big plow. Well, all of our plows. Selling all of our plows. This is just the last one left here. So we're going to go over here. Sell. Yes, 26 grand. Good. And then what we've just purchased is this setup. I have never tried this, so I sure as heck hope that this count works as a good plow because I've just sold the other ones. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like there's a hitch on the back of those and on the front. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a nasty cough. I'll try to mute myself every time that happens, but I might not catch them all. So you got the three-point hitch on this side. And it looks like... Well, the attachment's on this side, and there's another three-point hitch on this side. So I guess you'd be able to add some more implements to the back of this. <clears throat> Both are four meters wide. So maybe... Maybe you could hook things to the back of this like a cultivator <clears throat> so I've bought two of these and yes Jamie I believe if I'm correct you can unfold this and hook both of them onto the back of this at least that is the theory I've never tried it <clears throat> and yeah they, you must be able to hook like their cultivator behind this as well so you plow and then cultivate right away or maybe a cedar hmm well, maybe somebody has an answer. Well, let's uh, jump in this. My volume is too loud. Let's see if this works, first off. So you could run it at four meters wide. Oh, so it does have PTO going to it. So if it has a PTO going to it, that means something like a cedar or some other equipment might work on that. So you could potentially run this with a cedar behind it. There we go. Let's unfold that. Okay, that's kind of hard to back up. Zoom out a bit so I know what I'm doing. Not sure, am I lined up? Not quite. All right, we got one of them on there. There we go. And then I can fold it up, I hope. Yeah. And that is much wider than any other plow that you can purchase. So take a quick look in here. So those are both four meters wide plows. The plow we just had was 4.9 meters, and this one is 4 meters by itself. Two of them side by side is 8 meters. The biggest plow you can get is 6.5, so this should definitely be the biggest setup right there. Well, let's bring it to a field and test it out. Huh. 
Jamie Voth has a... Have you tried this or it's an idea we should try out? That... Because that would work. I think that would work. Um, run your three mowers up front and then attach two mowers to the back of this. Okay. So you would buy... Oh, let's go to the mower. So you've got this guy and this guy up front and then attach one of each of these to the back to either side and then be cutting with you're basically cutting with five mowers. That's a great idea. That is a very good idea because it has PTO support so do that and then get a big wind rower. Hey. Sorry guys, every now and then OBS does that. It disconnects so that you have these little gaps in uh, YouTube where OBS has disconnected and reconnected. So if it does that, just hang on and it'll come right back. I one time it did it a couple of times in one episode, so let's hope that doesn't happen too often. Well, Jamie, I'm definitely going to have to give that a try. Get a little, little getting used to this plow. It definitely uses all the power this tractor is given. I'm burning lots of gas. I think this tractor is a little underpowered for this plow. That's okay, we're going to get a bigger tractor. <clears throat> I'm looking at getting the Fent 900 Vario next. 390 horsepower. field is a little bit funny bumpy in that corner there so oh I can lower deep lower them deeper <coughs> hey Fritz how's it going
Yeah, I think this plow is gonna make life much nicer. Especially as we get bigger tractors that can pull it a little quicker. Well, at least get up to speed a little quicker. This is the biggest tractor we have and it does definitely feel underpowered. I'm not sure what the top speed of this plow is, but the fastest I've gone so far is the 10. And it's struggling to stay at the 10 kilometers an hour. Oops. Lift that up before backing. <coughs> Farmer Joe is gonna. Our silage is done, so Farmer Joe is gonna start doing some silage. So we're gonna have some money rolling in pretty quick for our new Fent tractor. Hopefully, we get enough money to purchase that the next episode or two maybe even this episode uh, after that we want to buy pigs I'm glad you're doing good Fritz uh, what uh, system are you playing on Fritz? Are you on console or PC? Ah, PC. Same as I. speed time up to five just so that farmer Joe doing silage doesn't get stuck waiting for the silage to fill yeah I actually donated all my uh, systems to charity because I found I was spending way too much money on all the systems so I'm PC only now I still have lots of friends that are on consoles and don't have any friends on PlayStation 4 though. Don't think so. Who's got PlayStation 4? Oh. Right. Huh. My father in law has a PlayStation 4. Farmer Joe had to remind me of that. Xboxes, I can find those anywhere. My brother has one. Ah, hmm. uh, they're Nintendo. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely a little older than you. <laughs> I've got, I'm, I'm more than double your age. Looks like you're getting just over four grand on each load. <clears throat> I 
Let's see now that I lowered this properly, see if it picks this up. But luckily with the modern age with computers, it doesn't really matter what age you are anymore. You can be friends with anyone. Hey Darren, how's it going? Yeah, with the internet age, you you can now be friends with uh, people with common interest, people that want to play the same game as you, people that want to have the same hobbies. I wonder if going around twice is enough to do U-turns on this for GPS. Maybe I have to go around three times. I definitely like this plow. This is going to save us a lot of hassle. No more flipping the plow back and forth as you go up and down. Yeah, I've seen uh, you Fritz on uh, renting, Renting's channel. Width. We don't need an offset. Hopefully, the auto width works out. This is going downhill, so. I'd have to assume 10 kilometers per hour is the fastest you can go with this plow. I got quite the bounce going on there. Oops. Didn't mean to jump out of the tractor. Again? There. See, that'll work better. Gotta lift them all individually. <laughs> yeah, Farmer Joe hates plowing, but I think she might be okay plowing with this. Yep, I'm going to hit that fence. Turning radius on this thing sucks. But it is our most powerful tractor and we need the most powerful tractor for this plow.
Build what? I'm not following you, Farmer Joe. Ah, I finally understand, Farmer Joe. She wish, wishes she could use the um, conveyor belt for the silage on this map. But because the silage pit's like a 45 degree angle of the... Ay, 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 what am I doing? It's a little hard to... Yeah, this is working really well. <clears throat> I even watched the Deut washed the Deutz far before starting today, so it's a nice clean tractor. It won't stay clean forever. Tires are dirty already, obviously. I like the dirt coming and kicking up because it's pulling hard. It's a little tire spin. see if this works. There we go. If you got a tractor with a poor turning radius, just skip one row. With GPS, that's okay. Oh, looking at those clouds, what time in game is it? Yeah, it's going to go dark again soon. You know, some of you guys love that it goes dark and it goes pitch black. Myself, I don't mind it. I just wish it would last not quite as long. Because it certainly gets very dark. Now oh, there's a cool little uh, toolbox on top of the plow there as well. That is realistic because I think almost every piece of equipment in the farm has toolboxes built onto, uh, onto it for just basic maintenance and repairs as you go along. Let's see how it handles this bump where trees used to be. I guess that's not really a big bump on this field. The other bump, the other field has a big bump where the trees used to be. Yeah, I really wonder if you could do this setup and then run cedars attached to that hitching point right there. Although I don't see... Alright Fritz, enjoy your food. I don't see PTO now that uh, we've got two of them attached. So you might not be able to run both of them then if you're on a narrow seater, you could maybe possibly plow before seating. I don't know. A 
I like the detail on the plow too. And I was talking about the tire spin. See it kicking up dirt, shoveling it away. lift that. Ah. For some reason I keep hitting the wrong button when I intend to lift. I jump out of the tractor. Again. Oh yeah, yeah. Every now and then I fail with buttons. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this purchase. It was definitely an awesome mod to download and install. Now, all my mods are in-game mods except for the GPS. If a GPS mod ever comes out in-game, in I'll definitely switch over to that. So there's your challenge. Someone build an in-game GPS. Well, I can't believe it's almost been half an hour already. We're going to quickly check up on Farmer Joe before we end the episode. So I'll just turn around here and then we'll see what's, what Farmer Joe is doing. Well, we know what she's doing, but we'll see how, what the progress she's making. map over to, well, any of these, visit. Looks like she's got a good chunk out of here already. So my hope is for tomorrow's episode to be buying a new uh, Fent tractor. I have never bought a Fent tractor in Farm Sim 17 yet, so that will be new. And then perhaps some other items like pigs and... Well, we'll see. We'll see. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please do give us a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. And as always, we stream live every morning, 8.30 Pacific Time. And we'll always stream live longer than the actual episode. So if you're watching live, you always get to see us. An extra 15 minutes, half hour. Have a great day.